Hello, my name is George, and today I'm going to do a quick video on uh, the newest uh, Game Ready driver released by NVIDIA. And uh, it is driver revision 442.19. Um, you can download it at the NVIDIA uh, driver download site, which I will link in the description below after this video. Um, so I'm going to go over a couple of features that they improved in this, uh, what they've added in this, the types of games that they have, may have uh, added, and I do these once uh, probably every few weeks to a month. Whenever NVIDIA releases a new driver, I will do one of these videos. So um, yeah, it's not going to be a long one, but let me get into it. So um, as I've said, uh, this driver version is 442.19. There's no significant changes from the CES Game Ready driver from uh, last month that I did in January. So um, let's see to go in and uh this is an article by neo win and yeah there's other sites like guru 3d that'll review these uh drivers themselves and then i'll digest basically um what they uh deliver content wise so i will also put this link in the description below so you can go and check it out your own but for all intents and purposes just to digest on uh, my end so i can explain stuff that's uh released here simply so you're welcome to go check it out after the video if you would like to okay so um, this driver 442.19 um, adds support for a Zombie Army, uh, Dead War 4, Apex Legends, Season 4 Update, and Metro Exodus, Sam Story uh, Expansion. Um, I usually uh, just play normal uh, FPS shooters and stuff. Uh, one of my main games that I stream every day is Rainbow Six Siege. Of course, I've tried this. Uh, driver on Rainbow Six Siege today, and it's uh, given me no issues so far. Um, as always, my recommendation is is if you are currently on a driver and um, and it does everything for the games that you mainly play, um, you should not update your driver if it is stable. Um, you should DDU all your drivers, which is uh, the display driver removal utility. Um, you should uh, force remove that properly. And um, yeah. Really, if you're going to play one of these newer games or the updates to a current game that you play, then you may require this download for improved performance. But uh, if you are playing a game that's not on this list so far, there's really no reason to update your drivers. Uh, maybe as this month rolls by, um, there could be some glitches in the driver that maybe you'll need rope roll back for anyways and since if you're not playing these games, you won't see these improvements anyways. I don't recommend that you really you know, download it unless you really require it or require one of the new features, um, which is uh, the next topic here, which is a they're adding some more G-Sync compatible monitors. Um, so, yeah, they're adding variable refresh rate to even more FreeSync monitors, which are becoming G-Sync certified monitors. And one is an Asus VG259QM. The Dell AW2521HF and the LG 34GN850 monitors. If you own one of those, and if it's uh, if you'd like to turn on G-Sync, then it looks like it's compliant. So just make sure that um, if you do want G-Sync enabled on these monitors, that those monitors are connected to your PC via DisplayPort because uh, via HDMI is. To my knowledge, still not possible yet. Maybe that'll change in the upcoming future revisions from uh, NVIDIA driver updates. But we shall see. So um, NVIDIA has also made some improvements to the new features uh, that were added in January's driver update, such as max frame rate and variable rate super sampling. Um, so what this is, is it's supposed to increase the performance on VR titles only, as far as I'm aware. Um, so what it does is if, let's say that you got your HTC Vive or you have a uh, Oculus Rift or something and, um, you're not using the most powerful graphics card to push the frames from those VR goggles. I mean, optimally you're going to be at over 90 frames, but let's say that you're currently not at 90 frames. Well, there's this technology called variable rate super sampling that does render images in your field of vision, um, at a higher resolution. Okay, so it'll super sample at a higher resolution versus like what you see in the foreground. And that's supposed to deliver better performance. Up till now, um, I've tried this myself. I don't see significantly better per, uh, performance, but then again, I don't see low performance anyways. So um, there's, you know, I use a 2080 Ti, but let's say you're using a 2016, you're, you know, 
uh, you're not getting the 90 frames or 120 frames to, you know, or you're never dipping below 90 or 120 frames or something. And maybe uh, this new VRSS, this uh, variable rate super sampling helps you out and you can experience VR and uh, it's all its smoothness and glory. Or, yeah, you'll feel sick if it's not hitting those frames. Um, maybe this is, uh, I believe that this is just a revision to allow higher performance. So it's going to render the foreground at a lower resolution. Everyone's happy, you know, because it's not at your, you know, it's just your periphery. It's not rendering the whole image at high resolution. So um, you should theoretically get better performance. I haven't seen much of a difference. And it looks like the the talk of the net is, is that, they're not seeing much of a difference, but, you know, little by little, they're apparently, you know, improving the performance of this. So we shall see where this goes from now. It's just uh, at this given time, this is like the second revision of variable rate super sampling. So that's just uh, new in this driver, and you can take that for how you will. So um, so now the ladder can be enabled in the global tab. Um, so it applies to every virtual reality game that you have in your library. So that's nice. Um, there's also, let's see, they've actually fixed some issues with this driver, like Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the game may crash. Yeah, that's cool. Maxwell GPU OpenCL. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it looks like they've uh, fixed a bunch of bugs, which is nice. Um, as usual, they did not fix all the bugs. There's still some, um, there's still some open issues from Windows 10. Game may randomly crash. I think that's one of the big ones. Yeah, okay, so I'm a Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege streamer, you know, mainly. And apparently if you're running Vulkan and G-Sync and Vulkan, this is a pretty important one. Um, you'll, you'll get something called G-Sync flickering uh, using the new Vulkan API, which just came out in a recent update from Rainbow Six Siege. So if you are getting G-Sync flickering and you would still like to use the Vulkan, you enjoy the performance uh, uplift that it gives you, then you have to go ahead and force V-Sync, or not force V-Sync, you have to force G-Sync off. So just make sure you have G-Sync off and you won't have these flicker issues. Um, flickering occurs after switching the game between full screen and windowed mode. So yeah, if you're using one of those, uh, if you're using mo one of those modes or if you're getting any flickering uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say turn G-Sync off. Even though I have not had this issue personally, I have used the new Vulkan API in Rainbow Six Siege. I did not see these issues um, even switching between full screen and windowed mode. So just if you do have this issue, this is kind of the, you know, the band-aid for it currently. And it's still an open issue with these new NVIDIA drivers. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um... Yeah, I mean, this uh, it's just a normal driver update. It's not a significant change from the last one. So just, like I said, if you don't require it, you don't have to update it. If you do play one of these games, then go ahead and update it. Just make sure you DDU uh, before you update these drivers. Or go ahead and install them, run DDU, clear out your old drivers, and then run these from scratch. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this one. Um, if you have any comments or questions, as uh, anyone does, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll answer them in a timely fashion. Um, please and like, like and subscribe on this video if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more. I try to come out with videos every day, but it doesn't go as such every day. I do live stream every day on Mixer, so if you want to come and ask me questions on Mixer in real time, I stream like 16 hours a day, every day. So uh, you can come and ask me there. Uh, my Mixer is Cash Me Out 2. So uh, you're welcome to come and ask me that whenever you feel like it. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching today. And um, out on this one, bye for now. Thanks for watching.